today we will be discussing about pathophysiology of jaundice pathophysiology of of jaundice how do you define jaundice yes please what's your concept of jaundice It's a, it's a yellow discoloration of eyes. Uh, uh, for example, if someone is taking lot of carrots and lot of beta carotene has gone to the body and some tissue turns yellow, is that jaundice? That is not jaundice. Uh, just increase in bilirubin level is not jaundice because sometimes bilirubin level goes slightly above the normal level and we say there is hyperbilirubinemia, but if it does not impart the yellow color in skin or mucous membrane or interstitial fluid or sclera, we do not call that jaundice. So, I think before you tell me new definitions, I must tell you what is jaundice. John, there are three terms which you should be clear. Number one, jaundice. Another term is hyperbilirubinemia. Then there is jaundice. Then there is another term is acterus. And then other term is cholestasis. These are terms which should be differentiated from each other. First of all, we must know that you know bilirubin is produced mainly as a during the breakdown of RBCs and other hemoproteins. And bilirubin is highly toxic molecule. And because bilirubin is constantly being produced in our body whenever RBCs are breaking down and whenever hemoproteins are breaking down, uh, these toxic molecules because they are daily produced about 0.2 to 0.3 grams per day. So, this uh, bilirubin should be pushed out of the body. Body should have very very efficient mechanism to get rid of bilirubin. But if bilirubin levels go above normal in the body, first of all you should know what is the normal level of bilirubin. What is the normal level of bilirubin? Yeah, 0.2 to some people 1.2 milligram per dl. Some people take it up to 1.6. Anyway, if we say this is the normal level of bilirubin 0.2 to 1.2 milligram per dl, right? And if your level go above that, we say there is hyperbilirubinemia. So, how do we define hyperbilirubinemia? That bilirubin level in the body is more than normal levels. Is that right? Now, actually what really happens, look here, this is normal bilirubin level, normal bilirubin level range, right, 0.2 to 1.2. If someone bilirubin level goes up to this level, this level, this level, is not going to develop yellow coloration of skin or sclera or the mucous membrane or interstitial fluid. Actually significant concentration of bilirubin should be there so that enough yellow coloration of the body tissues occur so that it can be appreciated by the eyes of the examiner. Usually it happens when bilirubin level is somewhere around 2.5 milligram per dl. When bilirubin level when it is going up, when it reaches around 2.5 milligram per dl, then what really happens that observer can identify the presence of high bilirubin level. Is that right? And how the observer decides? Because patient shows that there is yellow coloration of or discoloration of the skin and mucous membranes and sclera. And when you have especially skin and mucous membrane with yellow coloration due to hyperbilirubinemia, we call the condition jaundice. So, what is jaundice? Jaundice is yellow discoloration of the skin, mucous membrane and interstitial fluids, right? Due to and sclera due to hyperbilirubinemia, due to hyperbilirubinemia, right? It means every hyperbilirubinemia is not jaundice. Very mild hyperbilirubinemia is not jaundice, right? Hyperbilirubinemia should be up to a level that it should, that observer people are able to, observing people are able to, you can say, appreciate the yellow coloration of the skin or the mucous membrane or the sclera or the 
interstitial fluid, then we say jaundice is there. Is that right? Another important thing is, what is acterus? Acterus is the term which is used when specially due to hyperbilirubinemia, sclera turns yellow. When we say, I can detect the acterus in this patient, it means we are, so person is specifically referring to yellow discoloration of sclera. Is that right? Again, what is acterus? Acterus is yellow coloration of sclera due to hyperbilirubinemia. Remember that uh, sclera shows the yellow coloration very easily as compared to the rest of the body tissues. The reason being number one, sclera is white, so yellow, faint yellow color can be appreciated. Secondly, if a scleral uh, certain uh, connective tissue molecules, they love to bind the bilirubin. D due to these two reasons, what really happens that acterus is usually appreciable before the full-blown jaundice develops all over the body. If the, you are really uh, watching your patient, uh, you can see examining your patient serially, right? Again, I will repeat. What is hyperbilirubinemia? When your bilirubin level is more than normal. What is jaundice? When hyperbilirubinemia lead to yellow coloration of skin, mucous membrane, sclera and interstitial fluids. Right, what is acterus? When, when we are specifically referring to yellow coloration of sclera due to hyperbilirubinemia. Due to hyperbilirubinemia. Because if there is yellow coloration of body tissue due to some other reason, that should not be considered jaundice. Then another thing which is there is what is cholestasis. Yes, have you heard of this term cholestasis? What is cholestasis? 